It's Taft from ConejoValleyTimes.com, and I'm here with Buster Acre, president of Conejo Valley Days. Hey, hey Taft, what's going on? How are you? Good, so, man. Good to be here. Thanks we, for having us. We, we love going to your event every year, and uh, you've been associated now for how long with Conejo oh, Valley wow. Days? Oh, uh, wow. Well, truthfully, it, it began in 1956 in June. I was born in 1956 in June, so probably since the day it started. Wow. Okay. And then uh, it's really evolved. It's uh, sort of got scaled back. There was some some bumpy road there for a little bit, and now you seem to be back on another. Yeah, yeah, trajectory. we're in a really good spot now. It's an exciting event, you know, between the the great carnival that we have, uh, all the nonprofits that participate that that. Uh, um, uh, seem to fill all of their, you know, their their needs for their summer camps and all that. Uh, so between the carnival, the entertainment, the, the great food that we have, um, special kids day, which is my favorite. You know, that's uh, Friday, the 11th, where uh, Zonta, this uh, nonprofit, puts on um, the carnival and and really the experience for for uh, you know special kids. And yeah. and if you haven't been to one of those. Taft, it's amazing. Yeah, so a lot of people don't understand like the whole thing. First of all, let's just talk about when it is. So yes. it's this year, it is May 10th. May 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. Okay, so that's Thursday through Sunday, yeah. May 10th to the 13th. And it's a very unique event in some ways relative to other events that are here. What is the role that Conejo Valley Days plays with charitable organizations nonprofits um, well it used to be all of the nonprofits and um, through the years um, you know dynamics change um, mission statements for different nonprofits change um, uh, we've had um, like I said everyone involved in the beginning because it was a brand new town and everybody came together as a community to try, try to uh, you know figure out how do you build a town you know they it's it's like a build in America you know you start again if we had our dream come true and everything available how would we do it and um, Thousand Oaks did a great job the Canal Valley did a, an amazing job um, what see Canal Valley does used to do um, a, a, a kind of a plethora of events, you know, a, a kickoff picnic, a rodeo, all these things. And now this kind of divided up. The Thousand Oaks Rotary, uh, which is a great organization, now does the chili cook-off, which is um, the uh, the week before Caneo Valley Days. And what a great fundraiser that is, and it's a great time. And, I mean, there used to, you know, Ronald Reagan went to, to the chili cook-off and Slim Pickens. And, right, right. and in the beginning, it was like just the best thing ever. Um, and, but now Caneo Valley Days has a kind of a specific role. We've got about six or seven uh, nonprofit clubs like uh, the Boy Scouts, the YMCA, you know, the Girl Scouts, uh, Zonta, which is uh, special kids. Um, and uh, I don't want to leave anybody out, Kiwanis, um, uh, I said the Elks, uh, the Masons. Um, they all need, they all have summer camps. And there's kids that, that, that need to, to find a way to make that money to go to summer camp. So we fill all those needs. Uh, besides the awareness, people, you know, they don't maybe they don't know where to go to join the Boy Scouts, or they don't. So we have booths for them to go and visit, get information, and then there's uh, people that have passions in town that are starting new nonprofits, and uh, they need a way to get the word out. And uh, no better place to start than Caneo Valley Days. Yeah, that's just awesome. And then the, so, uh, you've got all sorts of events on different days. Can we talk just a little bit about that? You talked about a Thursday. You talked about the kids thing. Yeah, Battle of Bands. It's uh, teen bands only. Okay. You know, local high school bands. You know, you think you can do it. You think you're the, the, the man or the girl. Um, you know, get out there and uh, we got a stage for you. And um, it's your chance to perform, and and it's with the real stuff, you know. DW Drums, who's a great sponsor of ours, that's awesome. Um, and a guitar center, um, you know, they provide first class equipment. It's a first class stage. It's the same stage that Dave Grohl and and everybody stands on when they yeah. go out and play at Caneo Valley Days, and uh, be a rock star. We uh, need to talk a little bit about the music thing. So obviously, Dave Grohl from uh, Nirvana and from the Foo Fighters. Yeah. A lot of people don't don't necessarily know who Dave is. Yeah. Um, uh, locally, but a huge star if you're a fan of either of yeah, those wonderful, bands. Yeah, wonderful man. Yeah, he and really Taylor is. Hawkins is a wonderful man. And and so they, um, he, he came out, right, with his band or something. What was the story with that? They it's just, Taylor's band. Okay. Uh, Chevy Metal. Yeah, and, right. Uh, like I said, Taylor, and Taylor is, um, if you don't love Taylor Hawkins, you don't love people. Yeah. He's, a, he's a, just a wonderful guy, great talent, great drummer, and actually a really good singer. 
So he has a band called Chevy Metal because he likes to play a lot and he likes to uh, help people and you know and donate his time. And the Foo Fighters are such a big machine that you can't really you can't really go out and do it as the Foo Fighters. Um, and then Dave always comes and guest stars because yeah. uh, uh, Dave's in it to win it. You know he is uh, he's in it to help. And um, when the Grawls show up, you know the party's on. Yeah. And uh, he's been so generous for the years. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know we couldn't afford to pay for talent like the talent that we have yeah but they come out and they give it for nothing yeah and, that's uh, awesome and it helps yeah it sure does now you have a little music background too that people are not familiar with yeah some people uh <laughs> know me as you know the local guy and which is all great um i'm actually a pretty uh, accomplished uh studio musician uh between steely dan and i'm now currently in player uh which and i love being in player peter beckett and of course yeah. baby come back that's yeah. one of, that's a forever song um and uh, then I wrote a lot of things like the Power Rangers theme and, and um, uh, you know, different, different things for films and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but um, I actually, uh, my last name's Acri, so okay. we had, uh, our family got here in 1939, uh, and we opened up a tavern. And Acri's Tavern is where I got my first keyboard. Uh, a, a, um, a young lady came in who was a dancer, and her boyfriend was a Hammond player, and I guess he left and left her the Hammond. And my dad um, asked me if I wanted it, and I said, I'll clean the bar for a year, Dad. Just get that for me. Yeah. And I did, and I've never, ever stopped playing the Hammond organ. So will we will we see and hear you tickling the ivories a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I'll be there, absolutely. And, um, you know, whatever I can do to help, right? <laughs> yeah. um, so this year, um, we've got uh, um, a lot of inductees from the Rock Gods Hall of Fame. Um, uh, Tony Franklin's coming from the firm, wow. you know, which was Jimmy Page and Paul sure. Rogers yeah. and Chris. Um, we've got Freddie Salem coming from the Outlaws. We've got Frankie Benali coming to play from Quiet Riot. Great drummer. Yeah. Stephen Perkins, great drummer. Uh, Jane's Addiction. Uh, Rory Kaplan from Michael Jackson uh, is coming out. Um, let's see, I'm going to play Hammond. Rob Mass going to play guitar. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? I. I don't want to miss anybody here. I think that's it. Yeah, that's a pretty good list that yeah, it is. Yeah, right? and, and Rock Gods, I think we're on at five. We're going to play an hour. Okay, now you've got a website where people can find out more information about the different events on the different days. It's a four-day festival. It's a four-day festival, four festival. And it doesn't start on this at the same time every day, right? No, it, Thursday starts at five. Friday starts at five. Uh, Saturday is uh, noon to midnight. Sunday is noon to uh, eight o'clock. And uh, Monday's Mother's Day. All right. So, um you're also going to want to get out there and on Saturday, which is the classic rock day, mm -hmm. uh, to see um, uh, Petty and the Heart Shakers. Okay, cool. Uh, they're a, a band from Las Vegas, and y you'd swear it was Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. All right, great. And so the website is? CaneoValleyDays.us. Okay, CaneoValleyDays.us. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we'll update with everybody with uh, right through our own newsletter, and also sure. we've got a page for you yeah. also on uh, Caneo Valley Times. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so this much for coming in. This is a fantastic setup you have, man. I would encourage everybody to come on and do this. This is crazy great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, we look forward to uh, coming out to the event, and uh, if you don't happen to um, get any tickets, it's possible you you might just win some through ConejoValleyTimes.com. That'd be so, nice. All right. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you.